Hey, what's going on, guys? Big Slam 21 back again for you, and we are backpacking in the village on Modern Warfare 3. Let me know if you've ever been backpacking in the village on Modern Warfare 3. Oh my god, this game was unbelievable. It's a team deathmatch that took almost 10 minutes. Now, I don't really play team deathmatch all that much, but I know they should be a lot shorter than almost 10 minutes. And I go off in this game. I do pretty damn well. I have almost half of my team's kills <laughs> in, this, in this one damn game. And let me tell you something, man. The sweaty tryhards wear out. I was pl that's why I'm using the the OP gun was the ACR because everybody I was playing in previous lobbies were playing with it. I was using the AK-47 for a while, but I had to switch over and I actually just picked up the golden camo for this gun the game before this. And I knew this I knew the tryhards would be out because it was like one o'clock in the morning Saturday. You know, I come home, I wanted to play some Call of Duty, and I have no idea why Modern Warfare 3 caught my eye. But it did. I put it in, and I had a lot of fun, man. And I remember playing this game when it first came out. And look, I know there's problems with uh, lag and things like that when a game first releases. But even, like, two months into the game's life cycle, I can remember, like, just being a step or two behind everybody. And it just pissed me off. So I just stopped playing it. I think I had, like, three days total played as this guy gets turned on, see, camping in the corner there. I mean, I only had three days, three days in on this game. And that's the reason why I just couldn't play, man. I was always a step or two behind everybody else. And I know that was like one of the main problems with this game. But otherwise, it was pretty damn fun, to be honest with you. I, I, I don't want to kill it all that much. I know a lot of people don't like this game, but it is a fun-ass game to me. And actually, as it, we were talking about that camper before that got turned on in the little house right here, somebody sent me a message after this game calling me a camping little bitch. Somebody in the comment section, please... Give me peace of mind because I don't think I was camping at any point in this game. Like, I did play a little defensively at some parts just because I'm injured or something like that. And I was just trying to regroup some health or, or reload or something like that. But I didn't think I was camping, like, sitting in a corner waiting for somebody to run by and shoot them. That's camping to me. I don't know what your definition of camping is, but some people need to get it right. If you're sitting in a corner waiting for something to happen, then you are a camper. You're not initiating the action at all now if you're shooting at me and i run in a building and lay down on the floor or happen to jump into a corner or something like that and you come storming in after me that's your own damn fault you knew where i was going to be what do you think i'm going to be waiting in the middle of the room for you for you to just walk in and shoot me when i'm damaged i don't think so man and maybe that's what happened this guy was just butt hurt or something i have no idea but this ac-130 is absolutely deadly man it should be in every single call of duty game this should be one of the kill streaks in every single Call of Duty. It's so lethal, it's so badass, and I friggin' love it. Now, I know everybody loves it for Modern Warfare 2, especially because you get that nuke, you build up that kill streaks, you get the nuke with it in Modern Warfare 2. I've never actually gotten a nuclear in Modern Warfare 2. I've never gotten a Moab, even in this game. I've never gotten a Moab, I've never got any DNA bombs, a chem strike. I mean, I've come close to a couple of them. It seems like I got killed off at like two away, three away, one time, one away. Now, like I said, I i don't claim to be anything great at this game or anything like that. But I'm pretty damn good. And I think I should have gotten a, a nuclear or something like that by now with as much Call of Duty as I do play. But I run around like an idiot most of the time playing this game. This game was the first time I really have played defensive now, let me know your play style, man. Do you just run out there like a lunatic? Most of the time, I'm in the middle of the goddamn map, you know, with my head spinning, getting shot from four or five different directions like an idiot. As my teammate, I thought he was going to protect me over there. My teammate went down, and I tried to cancel the Predator missile, but it didn't work out. They made me use it, and I, that, dude, that dude picked me off, but that's my own dumb fault. But yeah, do you play reckless as hell? Are you more defensive? I don't mind defensive players, but I I don't like I don't like campers. You know what I mean? Do you just slow, it slows the game down too much for me? You got to be moving. You got to initiate the action. You know what I mean? Don't be Floyd Mayweather. Don't be Floyd Mayweather. Just kind of sitting against the ropes, waiting for somebody to throw a punch for you to do something. Now look, I know that's his style of boxing, and I guess camping can be a style of playing Call of Duty. I just personally don't like it. But anyway. Hopefully you enjoyed the Modern Warfare 3 and the Call of Duty in your sub box today instead of all the Battlefield Hardline that's going to be in there. Uh, and if you made it this far, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're new, hit the subscribe button, man. 
And uh, you'll see the the team backpack here, the score here coming up in a minute. Oh, my teammates were so bad. This whole lobby was pretty bad, to be honest with you. But <laughs> either way, thank you for watching. I hopefully you enjoyed the video. I love you all. See you on the next one. Peace.